Turtle scooters are very good because they help prevent dying back terrapins from getting stuck in the crab traps. This crab trap is very hurtful to a Dimac terrapin. They swim into here and get stuck and they can't get out. And then they die sadly, but sometimes you'll be able to get them out in the nick of time. This is a Diamondback terrapin which is being threatened along the coast by abandoned crab, crab traps. Filler crab, small fish, and As you can see, we have this crab pot and I'm going to throw it in the water and tomorrow morning I'll come back out and make sure there's no terrapins in it and after school. We should all care about diamondback terrapins because they are threatened. They also keep the keep down the population of the invasive crabs and other invasive sea creatures. Did you know that by the middle 1950s, crab traps were widely accepted throughout the Gulf of Mexico? Also, ghost traps rate leads to a loss of 4 to 10 million blue caps each year in Louisiana. Diamondback terrapins. Diamondback terrapins are reptiles. Reptiles are echothermic. And also, diamondback terrapins are vertebrates. People can put turtle excluders on their crab traps. We can also check our traps each day to try to limit the deaths of the pretty turtles. I am going to tell you about abandoned crab traps and how they are a big problem on the coast. Okay, here are some pictures of abandoned tra crab traps with dynamite terrapins trapped inside. Actually, one day I caught a poor dynamite terrapin in my trap. Luckily, I rescued it and it survived. Diamondback terrapins were threatened because people used to eat them, but now there is a wall against that. Some crabbers now use turtle excluders on their crab pots to prevent terrapins from getting killed in the end.